Hi, this is Paul from TraderFifth.com. Quick video setting up Wayfair W on the hourly time frame. It's had a way for pullback. I want to go through the measurements that we take and entry strategies for this potential fifth wave trade intraday on the Wayfair Inc. stock. Now, uh, caveat, I already did a day trade when it broke through at 325.59 last week for a day trade and just got that big move. But since then, it's had some profit taken. It's found uh, initial support. Um, one of the things I want to go through now is um, obviously the how we measure that profit taking after that big move. And we use the Elliott Wave Indicator Suite so we can measure certain things of this uh, Wave 4. So right now we've got the Wave 3 printed up here, which this big grey zone up here is a daily support and resistance zone. The Wave 3 is printed up here. We've pulled back on the Wave 4. We've pulled back into the red zone. So if we do find support in here, there's a 75% probability we're going to go on and make that new way five high in the automated target zone. In the middle of that is around $390 there. Next, we look at the false breakout stochastic. So it, there's two sub charts here. The, the, the top one with the yellow dots is the false breakout stochastic. So the, the, the yellow dots on the top here denote a strong bullish trend. So when the stochastic pulls back against that strong trend, um, we, we say that it wants to return to that main bullish trend. So there's a high probability it's going to want to cross over and go back to that overbought zone there. So we are in the oversold zone. We're in a critical phase right now. Support has to be found today and it has to go on uh, and uh, move away from that support. Now, we also use the Elliott Wave Oscillated at the bottom here. We pull back between 90 and 140. Are we there or thereabouts right now? So depending on that first hour candle today, uh, we, we could get everything all lined up. Now, entry, we use the 6-4 moving average high. There's two moving averages here, the red and the green. The 6-4 moving average high is for long entries, and that is in advance of the current price action. So today's candle... Um, above that 6.4 moving average eye would be actually into this short-term support and resistance. So we want to make sure we're above there sensibly. Okay, so 325.59 breaking out, the same entry I had before last week, uh, is, a, is a good sensible uh, move. So it's got to do some work first, but once it breaks through, we then, uh, we've then we got the stop below the wave 4 pivot. Again, pre-market, this is a little bit down on there. So this may just fail. And if it fails, we just take it off. We'll, let, we'll see if the support still holds and all the other measurements that we take still hold. Then we just, uh, you know, adjust our risk reward. So if the stops just blow the way for the entries where where I have at 325.59, we're about one to two into that uh, target zone there. 1.6 is here on the left. So, you know, we're, we're 1 to 1.6 to the previous wave 3 high uh, and then 1 to 2, just the bottom there of that uh, fifth wave target in that big resistance zone there. So at this moment, pre-market, we haven't broken the stop for the order. Everything looks pretty good. Let's see what that hour, first hour brings. Does, does it hold support? Does it find a slightly lower support and then move up higher? Do we have to adjust the stop, but the entry remains the same? Still got a good risk to reward there. So right now, one of the things as we do as traders is we're, we're preparing for the markets. And this is this is one that I'm looking at for today uh, and looking for that support to hold if it does. Uh, and it breaks through my uh, 325.59. That will be a um, stop limit order. And I will go long on W Wayfair Inc. Hopefully that helps. Good. Um, Good way to show how the Alley Wave Indicator Suite works on intraday timeframes, not just the daily and the weekly. Uh, we can swing this. We, you know, we can get in this uh, and, and carry it for a couple of days uh, and see if it hits that uh, target. So, hopefully, that helps. Speak to you all soon.